Hello students, in this video we are going to learn unit 10 lesson Timakka. So you can see the two pictures here. So this is Bengaluru 25 years ago and this is now. So what difference you see here? So 25 years ago you have more of trees. Okay, so the, the city is having more of trees and less of buildings and vehicles. But now, so this is now, if you see here, you have more of high-rise building and no trees, very less trees only you are having and more of vehicles, so that too polluting, so all it's leaving the smoke. So what will be the effect of this? The city became very much hot now. So if you have uh, elders at home, you can ask them, they will tell you. So, once upon a time, it was very pleasant. Okay, in full year, the weather used to be cool. But now, in the month of March and April, it's, it's a very much hotter now. So, it's all because of the uh, pollution and lack of trees. Okay. So, if you go to a place where you have more of trees, suppose park, let us take. If you are entering into a park without uh, any, what to say, without any hotness, you will be feeling very cool and the air will be very fresh. If you enter into a highway, so how it will be? It will be very, very hot. One, because of the vehicles and one more factor is you don't have enough of trees there. So, it will be very very hot. So, let's see what is the importance of planting tree. Okay, so who did that? So, we will see here. Timaka. Timaka was born in a very poor family in Pulikal village in Magadi Taluk near Bengaluru. So, and so she could not go to school. Even today, she does not know how to read and write. So, Timaka, so she was uh, a, born in a very poor family. Okay, so she was uh, born in a very poor family. So, because of that itself, she was not gone to school. And she don't know to read and write. Okay, when she grew up, she married Chikaya, who was a cow herd. She herself began to work as a laborer. Soon after their marriage, Timaka learned that she would not be able to have a child. She was very unhappy. However, with no children around, she had a lot of free time. So, she decided to do something to keep herself busy. She decided to grow something. So, after she grew up, she married to a person called uh, Chikaya and uh, he was a cow herd. So, the person who have uh, cows and uh, who will take care of those cattle. Okay. So, uh, she also used to work along with him. Okay. Then after the marriage, she got to know that she could not uh, give birth to a child. Okay, she cannot have a child on her own. So, this she, she got to know. So, she was very sad. She was very much unhappy with that. But she didn't uh, think anything like others. So, she decided to grow something. Only ch children can be grown by a mother. She can even grow trees and plants, no? So, she decided to keep herself with growing something, that is plants. Timaka began to plant trees along the road connecting her village with the neighboring village. She had only one aim, to create life. She and her husband together planted 10 saplings in the first year. Next year, they planted 15 saplings and 20 in the third year. 
they continued planting more and more saplings every sorry year after year so timaka along with her husband only she started to plant trees okay so she started to plant along the road the road side they started to plant the trees so the young tree is called saplings okay so first year she planted 10 saplings the next year 15 and the third year 20 so they increase the number of uh, saplings so her only aim is to create life if she can't give uh, give birth to a child also she want to create life with the help of plants and trees they also began spending a lot of time looking after the saplings just the way parents would look after their children chikhaya carried water in large pots for a distance of 4 km to water the saplings timaka carried one pail of water on her waist and another on her head for the same distance so you can see in the picture so how she is carrying so one pot will be in her waist and one pot will be in the head like this she also carried for 4 km so she was having a uh, lot of time no because no kids at home so she is having lot of time so she want to take care of the saplings which she planted how the parents used to take care of children like that she want to take care of the plants so she and her husband chikaya both of them carried huge pots for 4 km so the plan they planted near the road okay so all the way along the road they have to carry the water and they have to water the saplings so for that reason they are they are walking and bringing water they planted the saplings mainly when the rains started and watered each new sapling twice a week for one full year by the end of the year the plants would take roots at times when one or two died chikaya made sure that they planted fresh ones in their place the two of them together have planted 284 trees already so how they took care of the plants they watered the plants so how, how what strategy they are using they used to plant the saplings after uh, mainly during the uh, rain season starts when the rain season starts they are planting the saplings okay so mostly the rain itself will give water and then they will water the remaining year so one full year they are taking care okay so one full year they are taking the water and they are watering the saplings so in case any one or two sapling it's not uh, growing it's dead means chikaya so he planted fresh ones in that same place okay along the road they are planting no if one or two it is it's died of any reason means he used to plant in the same place another one sapling so all together so together both of them have planted 200 84 trees already one day timaka was shocked to learn that some of the villagers were planning to cut a few of her trees with the help of the local police she stopped them from cutting the trees this made news many people read about timaka's efforts to grow plants her love for plants earned her many awards so one day so she planned she was this, this is her work she is doing that regularly taking care of the saplings uh, uh, planting new plants like that she was doing so one day she was sh- shocked to learn that one of uh, few of her trees is about to cut by the villagers be- because it is along the roadside no so for some reason they may cut the tree so this she got to know so she called the local police and she stopped the cut sh- cutting of tree 
okay so this made a big news so by that only people got to know that there is uh, timaka who is planting so much of saplings so after this incident only people got to know so they now learnt about her efforts so they so by this only she got many awards so let us see what and all she got her hut looks like a gallery her walls of the the walls of the hut display a national citizens award of 1995 indra priyadarshini uh, brika shamitra award of 1997 veera chakra prashanti award of 1997 a certificate of honor from the women and child welfare department of government of karnataka and a certificate of appreciation from the indian institute of wood science and technology bengaluru so these awards she won okay so after getting to know about her efforts okay as a couple a man and a woman so they have done such a big job planting 284 trees okay and taking care till now not only planting she is taking care till now so by that good effort it have gained her so many awards okay timaka has spent a major part of her life looking after trees and plants it is sad that she has no one to look after her in her old age okay so he, that that happens so she took care of so much of plants and uh, trees but in her old age nobody is there to take care of her okay so i hope you understood this lesson read the lesson children thank you